<laughs> there we go. It comes back. So we're in Power Up, which is our hands-on gaming experience. It's a permanent gallery in the Science Museum, uh, and it's a real celebration of the history of video games. So in this space, we've got over 160 consoles spanning five decades of video gaming, and it's all playable, and people get to come along and see firsthand how games have evolved over time. So it's quite different from an arcade. In an arcade, uh, you've just got usually a random collection of different um, arcade machines. This is actually a curated space. We thought about uh, the history of video games and we want to tell stories and inspire people. So um, I'm sat next to this timeline, which actually is a, a chronologically ordered uh, history of video games starting in the 1970s and going right to present day. Gaming is so significant to uh, our lives these days. It's an enormous industry that has surpassed film and music. It's a STEM industry. Careers in gaming are incredibly diverse uh, and there's amazing opportunities for young people to, to find an amazing uh, career that, that can lead them onto an, an amazing life. Video games are a massive part of today's culture, embraced by millions of people. And here's a chance to see the evolution of video games over the decades. So whether you're a gamer today, or you're someone who grew up in the sort of early 90s or before and want to see a bit of nostalgia and play, take into your hands the consoles you used to play with and have a go at Street Fighter or Sonic. I think video games started off as being this thing of thinking of sweaty teenage boys in their bedroom playing video games and now it's grown so that everyone plays them and in fact as an industry it's as large as things as film and therefore it's a massive cultural influence and I think it will only get bigger as time goes by and it may supersede other things like film and TV.
Yeah, I mean, I, the Science Museum does pride itself on having interactive displays. So this is just another one they can add to it. And the fact that you can game with other people around you feels much like a throwback because nowadays people play online against each other. So to actually see the person's reaction next to you is quite unique these days. Um, I remember growing up playing four player games at friends' houses, but that happens less and less these days. So here's a chance for others to experience that.